new polls tonight confirm what a couple of polls have already revealed this week. Rick Santorum has a big lead here in Michigan. The two new polls show Santorum up 9 to 10 points over Romney. 7 Action News reporter Cheryl Choden is live at one of the campaign stops in Farmington Hills tonight. Cheryl? Well, Carol, right, Mitt Romney will be here at the Farmington Hills Manor tomorrow for lunch, and one political analyst says he needs to wow the crowd and win the votes because the Michigan primary could be a make it or break it. If he loses his own home state, uh, that'll be the narrative for the week leading into Super Tuesday when there are 10 primary elections, and that could be devastating. And political analyst Tim Kiska tells us tonight the most recent polls, four to be exact, show that Rick Santorum has already taken a strong lead over Mitt Romney. All four of them say the same thing, that, that Romney is losing to Rick Santorum by anywhere from five to ten points. This is not a president who deserves a second term. In Grand Rapids late today, during Romney's appearance, he took every opportunity to blast President Obama, but never mentioned his rival. Rick Santorum. And Santorum in North Dakota was also talking about the White House and how it needs to change. We need a government in Washington that says we want you to participate in the greatness of America. But bottom line, both candidates know what they're up against in Michigan. And while Romney has the governor's endorsement now, Tim Kiska doesn't see that as such a big deal. It may help, but I can't imagine it swinging huge numbers of votes. Uh, by itself in the, in, into the Romney category. I will tell people the truth. I will live with integrity. The White House will be a place you can be proud of. Of course, Mitt Romney, the son of Governor George Romney, who was a very popular governor in Michigan. But Tim Kiska tells us tonight that polls show that some people don't even feel like Mitt Romney is a Michigan native because he left here so long ago. Reporting live in Farmington Hills, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News.